Good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, it is a good morning. Yeah, it's at least not snowing out here today, so that's good. It was snowing light flurries there last night when I was parked there or when I was getting ready to go to bed anyways. And uh, now we're uh, <coughs> getting our day started and uh, we're going to go over to our terminal and... Uh, pick up an empty if they have one there hopefully they do and then we'll uh, make our way down to our pickup location and hopefully that won't be too bad to get over there because it is really bad traffic usually on the 401 so it could take me an hour to get down there turn so turn left on Courtney Park Drive I figured I'd get me an early start it's only uh, about 41 kilometers to drive and that could take me 40 minutes to get there you know just because uh, of traffic maybe even 45 minutes you never know right so let's go pick up an empty hopefully they do have one in stock there and then we'll be able to uh, get our load on here hopefully Hopefully we'll be able to get through Toronto again before rush hour starts again in the evening, so. So yeah. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Let's stick around for the rest of the show, guys. All right, we have just gotten loaded, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, we have. And now we're gonna make our way down back to Mississauga because we're all the way on the east side of uh, well, I guess you could say the Toronto area. And now we're going to go make our way back to Mississauga. And then we're going to scale the load, make sure we're legal. And hand our paperwork into the dispatcher there. And then uh, we'll uh, get our paperwork set up for the border crossing. But before we do that, we're going to make sure we're actually able to make this load legal with the weight. Yes, indeed. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to be uh, picking up some apparently placards for uh, another driver. Apparently, he doesn't have placards for some odd reason. I don't know why, but. Apparently he don't have no black card, so uh, dispatch just sent me a message if I could pick up some uh, black cards for him, you know, at the yard there and bring them to him. And I said, all right, well, I can certainly do that. It's just going to be a little while. Apparently he's in London, Ontario right now. So it's going to take me a little while till I get there, you know. But anyways, we'll make our way down to the terminal and then uh, we'll go from there. I just finished fueling up over here in London, Ontario now. And uh, we were able to uh, give that other driver the placards. Got the story behind it a little bit and uh, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was an interesting story but... I'm not sure if I want to tell it on, on the air though. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, so uh, we're not going to talk about it, I don't think so. But anyways, uh, they were able to get the uh, placards and uh, now they are going to be able to hammer down. Yeah, they were going to Illinois too, just like me. But, uh, hey, it's finally starting to slow down a little bit with the wind. Up there in Toronto, it was terribly windy up there. It's still a little windy up here, but not nearly as windy as it was over there in Toronto. And, uh, as I said earlier, my weight was good. So I was able to fuel up over here and... Now we're hammered down towards the border ourselves. 
We got 700 kilometers to go to our delivery place. So we'll try and do a few hours today yet. Do a few hours tomorrow morning and then we'll be over there. In two kilometers, keep to the left yes, on Highway indeed. 401 West, on EB 401 West, Windsor. My appointment luckily is only for 11.30 tomorrow. Now that's central time. I should have no problem making that as long as I don't have too many delays. But remember, today we're not going to take 96. Today we're going to take 94. Hopefully that won't be under construction. <laughs> I haven't been on 94 in a while. I think, I think throughout the summer or early spring they had that one under construction. So I had to actually detour that one. But yeah. Cleaned all our windshields and everything, and now that truck just came onto the road here. And I guess it's blowing a little bit of snow off of the vehicles of some of them. And, and uh, in 500 meters, keep to the left on Highway It seems to make my windshield dirty really quickly, you know. Oh, now that sun decides to come out and be real bright. <laughs> Wait, which I don't mind actually, but. Makes the sun nice and warm. That's for sure. I just hope that wind will die down here a little bit more. This road for 171 kilometers. But as you can see, this is the stretch I was uh, yesterday. I was in yesterday, and it was snowing like crazy. Remember, God, guys, this is the spot. And now you can see the result of it. Now you see a lot of snow up there in Toronto. We didn't have any snow on the ground yet. Up here in London, we do. Yes, indeed. Even uh, some snowdrifts over there. Oh, they must have gotten pretty good amount of snow up here. It feels like the wind is still coming across here pretty strong. Must be one stretch right here where it's really close to the big lake up there. Where that wind just comes right across that lake and gets a lot of speed, I guess. But yeah, it looks like they've gotten a couple of inches of snow up here, that's for sure. But yeah. We'll see how bad the border is going to be today. And I'm not talking about the border itself. I'm talking about the traffic. How bad the traffic is going to be. We'll keep an eye on that. I have now made it into the United States of America. We are in Michigan now. Yes, indeed we are. We made it up to exit 110 in Marshall, uh, Michigan. Yeah, there's a Shell truck stop up here. And I like this truck stop up here there's almost always parking here you know even in the evening and whatever you know so uh, whenever I go this way and it looks like it's gonna be a little later then I kind of like to stop in here so but yeah anyways we are done for today we're uh, just gonna take our 10 hour break and then we'll make our way down to uh, Chicago yeah so, without further ado, let's get out of here, and then uh, we'll have another one tomorrow. So we'll see you on the next one. It's been Trucker Rudy, signing out. <music>
the satellite radio For good trucking music there's a place to go J.W. Country, Dan and Truck and Bozo Thank God for the satellite radio Yeah, for down home country and old rock and roll The truckers love satellite radio Yes, they do Man, it's good to truck down the road and listen to the greatest singers in the world again. 